Hello Internet, welcome to another topic in Network Analysis and Synthesis. In today's topic, we'll discuss about resonance in RLC circuits. If you have been following my previous tutorials on RLRC circuits with AC and DC excitation, uh, you know by now that in AC circuits with an impedance R plus J XL minus XC the current in the circuit will either lead or lag the voltage. Now what happens is if we look at this circuit in this circuit we have a resistive component R and then we have inductive and capacitive components L and C respectively which will uh, produce XL and XC reactances. Now because of these reactances our impedance uh, becomes a complex quantity. Now over here our impedance is equivalent to R plus J XL minus XC. And the current in this circuit will be given by V angle theta upon Z. Now, if the inductive reactance is bigger than the capacitive reactance, we'll, we'll get a positive sign here if the inductive reactance is Z will be something equivalent to R plus JX if this is true and if XL is less than XC then Z will be R minus JX so the circuit will behave like an inductive and over here the circuit will behave like capacitive and you can figure out from this that phrase CIVIL that current will lead um, in capacitive circuits the current will lead the voltage and voltage will lead the current in inductive circuits uh, this is what I've discussed in the previous tutorial but um, what happens when when XL becomes equivalent to XC this is case number one We could say this to be the case number one, this is case number two, and this could be our case number three where XL becomes equivalent to XC. In such cases, our impedance becomes a purely resistive impedance, which is a real number. And if we have such an impedance, then our current will neither lead or nor lag the voltage because uh, we, we will not have any angle present in the denominator uh, because of the lack of any imaginary quantity. So this condition over here where our impedance is purely resistive and that happens when XL becomes equivalent to XC is known as resonance. Now this is pretty simple, a lot of people get confused uh, in defining resonance in RLC circuits. It, it's pretty simple scenario where uh, the circuit starts to behave like a purely resistive circuit and that can only happen if XL or inductive reactance becomes equivalent to XC, the capacitive reactance. And when when case 3 happens the the current will be in phase with the voltage current is in phase with voltage so you could say that at resonance 
current is in phase with voltage and on the contrary if if we wish to make our circuit a resonant circuit then what do we need to do because for a particular circuit the values of L and C will not change so if we wish to make that circuit resonant circuit or if we uh, want to uh, nullify the effect of frequency in this circuit we simply have to meet this condition so for resonance you could say for resonance or to make a circuit purely resistive we, we simply need to make XL is equal to XC and that can happen only when uh, or 2 f uh, 2 pi FL is equivalent to 1 upon 2 pi FC and our frequency becomes equivalent to so a little bit of rearrangement will make 2 pi square LC or our F becomes equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root LC. So this will be the frequency. We keep the frequency of the circuit to be equivalent to uh, this proposition. Then the circuit would start to behave like a purely resistive circuit. And that circuit would be known as a resonant circuit and it will be labeled as a resonant RLC circuit and the most important property of a resonant circuit is that the current will be in phase and XL will be equivalent to XC. This was a primer on resonance in RL circuits. I hope uh, you found this tutorial helpful and if you like the contents of this video and the other videos that I create give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel have a great day ahead bye